So the last weapon we had was the Moon Shadow Dagger weapon. Ooh, I can get it up. Nice. So yeah, I'm probably going to start getting this to level 1. I'm sorry, Dark but I'm going to have to do a video on it, but like... <laughs> oh god, these weapons. Anyway, so obviously with the Dark uh, Moon Shadow weapon, um, not everyone was able to manage to get it because of how difficult it actually is to obtain. Well, the next weapon on the list, as we know of, is the Phoenix Bow, and that is going to be giving us more fire support. And uh, I mean, there's already a, already a decent amount of um, fire weapons already in the game. But yeah, let's take a look at the Phoenix Bow. So here it is. Shout out to Alpha, the fire weapon do we need that's the big question um chances are this is probably going to be the next uh weapon for global launch or for that specific month being may so yeah let's let's take a look so when phoenix rapid fire is used the firebird soul effect is applied every third sixth and ninth arrow when the last attack of the basic attack hits applies the firebird soul effect when the last attack of the basic attack hits applies the firebird soul effect okay Firebird Soul. Coral attack changes to flame shot, increases flame shot damage by 50% per Firebird Soul instance, stacking up to three times. Okay, when the user uses flame shot, consumes all Firebird Soul instances, and duration is infinite. Okay, well, in terms of damage, we'll take that. Um, already, I'm seeing that this is going to be. I mean, this now opens up the solid foundation for some. Yeah. Is this solid? Yeah, this now opens up the solid foundation set for Jimu now. So that's going to be interesting if we choose to cater to that. Um, going into dupes, uh, fills 34% of the user's core gauge every third, sixth, ninth arrow of the Phoenix Rapid Fire. Okay, increases the fire damage by 20%. On the last attack of the fire rapid, wait, what? <laughs> On the last attack of the Phoenix Rapid Fire, Firebird Soul stacks two times. On the last attack okay increases the flame shot damage by 60 percent per instance stacking up to four times okay so that's 180 interesting uh the increase the cooldown as per usual and then it, when you max it out when the flame shot is used they regain the firebird soul instance that were consumed at one to three instances they gain one instance of firebird soul at four instances they gained two instances of firebird soul so there's that uh refund i guess you could say in terms of keeping up that consistency um once that plus five is in place so you can, yeah the, the the maximization of the damage output that this bow uh will be producing at plus five um, oh, whoa, hold on a minute. The user's core gauge also fills up to 100%. Alright. Well, that's a bit insult to injury if you ask me. Oh. Oh, that's cool animations. Arrows with, like, birds flying in. Okay. Core damage. This is, okay, level 1 is, um, 5, 6, 8. Okay, so what's the... Damn, that's level 1? 1,500? Okay. Okay. This might be the next well no well th this is probably gonna be the fire weapon that everyone wants in terms of damage output um is it okay so yeah he, oh, he doesn't put it on max just leaves that a minimum okay that's fine so the big takeaway is that now the solid foundation is now optimal for jimu which is beautiful if you want to cater more to this bow which i'm well i've already got a set well i, I think the best thing to do is just have sets ahead of time just kind of laying there so that way if <laughs> something like this happens then we're kind of chilling. Thankfully, I've got two solid foundation sets already sitting there, so we are 100% going to be catering to this. Um, but I think just looking at this weapon straight off the bat, in terms of just without it being no dupes, I mean, so once basically once we get the get the ninth shot off, that's when we've maximised our firebird soul. That will then lead into the core attack going into flame shot, which will then of course do increased damage. And then per the firebird souls that we have, so we can stack up by three. It's limiting us uh, by three, so that's a total of an extra 150, 150% right there. Once a flame shot is used, our souls will be reset because it consumes them. But by doing the nine shots again, we get it back again. So that's kind of the cycle on on on, on the um, change up with the uh, flame shot with our core attack changing up. And then obviously going into the dupe side of things, 
um, this helps up fill up a core gauge even further, even quicker. And then, yeah, every third, sixth, ninth arrow. Damn. Okay. That's good to know. So the, the, this is just an added bonus now to our gauge. Okay. Um, so that's on the first dupe. And then furthermore, going into the third dupe. So then on our last so whilst we're changing our core attack, getting the 150, um, in, uh, adding more to our core gauge because of the first dupe, the third dupe then allows us on the last strike, on the last attack of the Phoenix Rapid Fire, Firebird Soul stacks two times. So, plus four then, right? Plus four. Oh my god, okay, oh, and there it is. I didn't bother reading the second half. I am half asleep. So now, we're getting an extra 10%. We're now, uh, our, our stack has now gone up by one, so we're at four. So in total, we're now getting, rather than an extra 150, it's now becoming a 240 situation. <laughs> oh my god. Um, yeah. So once you get to that plus three mark, you're basically uh, just, you know, upgrading. Well, I say upgrading. <laughs> you're getting a, a ton more damage out of it. Um, because that last stack just becomes a two slot. Yeah, damn. Okay, well that's insane. And then, okay, and then lastly, so this is where the, the consistency truly comes into place of just effectively um, stacking up your Firebird Soul. Realistically, right? I mean, could you go further beyond? If you have more? Because, um, yeah, so the flame shot is used. They regain Firebird Soul. So if you use one to three instances, they gain one instance of Firebird Soul back, right? And then at four instances, they gain two instances of Firebird Soul. So, if I get two back, and then I'm firing off my shots, to then get my core attack changed into the flame shot, does that mean I've got more instances? Am I tripping? And because it's at 60 per instance, would it not just go higher? Right? <clears throat> Am I missing the plot here? Isn't that how, how it would work at that point? And then, <laughs> oh wait, okay, yeah, so our core gauge will also fill to 100%. I forgot about that. Okay, well, that explains that. All right, uh, bro, I need to, why do I just blabber away and not, I'm not see the whole picture? Okay, well, that kind of debunks that. Okay, fair enough. Um, but there we go. Wow. Yeah, so uh, um, it'll be interesting to see. Uh, but from the looks of it, I think, what, yeah, so plus... Plus two, you get the fire increased damage, which is standard, but plus three will allow you to do more damage, and then plus five will just bring out the consistency of just consistently being doing the amount of damage that you would do at plus three, basically. So realistically, um, maximizing the damage would be at plus three minimum, if, if, if that's what you're wanting from this weapon solely. If you get into the plus five side of things, then... Um, having that consistent damage output from this Phoenix bow, which is going to be a ton, just FYI, um, it's going to be there. It's going to be there.